Let's continue scribbling, but this time we'll work with the new brush category, particles. I don't see them here because I'm still using the Painter 12 and Painter X3 brushes library. I can easily change to the Painter 2015 brush library by going into this pop-up menu and just accessing it in that way. Now when I open my brush selector, I see the particles brushes. There are three subcategories. Some of them are flow brushes. We have a few gravity brushes, and at the bottom we have a number of spring brushes. And you can get an idea of what they might look like simply by hovering over to see the brush preview stroke. But that's not as exciting as actually doing some scribbling. Now I'm going to get a black color here. And the purpose for that is because many of these particle brushes have a glow quality, which makes them look exciting on a dark surface. So let's just make a new document. And I've made a black one before, so it's ready for me. And I'll click OK. I also want to open a new custom palette that I have specifically designed for this exercise. It's in your Working Files Chapter 1 folder, and it's Particles Stroke. Open that and dismiss the panel. Moving this over. I have Flow Fur as one of these items, and let's see what that does. I'll make it a golden orange here and do a stroke. This is with the Enhanced Ghost Brush. You're actually able to see all of these particles, literally. And it is very slow. I stopped making a mark and the particles are still moving. That is going to be true of many of these other ones. Switching to a bright red, let's see what Flow Sparkler Glow does. I'll try one down here so we see why they're called particle brushes. Flow Organic Texture, let's make that kind of a magenta. Flow water effects. Maybe for water, we could go into a blue and see how that looks. And I stopped and it's still going. So you know that if you want to speed up, you simply go back to your painter preferences and use a choice for brush ghost instead of enhanced brush ghost. And I think I'll do that for a few more of these. Move to the second row and we have a gravity bristle. Let's continue with the blue, and I'll show you what the gravity bristle looks like. It's much speedier now that we don't see all the particles. Here's gravity deco streamline, and I remember quite liking this. I'll move the canvas over so I can use this blank area here. And it is showing me mostly white, but it will show you a bit of the color that you choose in its edges. I'll just do a green one so you can see that that is, in fact, the case. One more of those. And let's move now to the spring group here. And I will choose the spring chain smoky. Let's see what that does. Oh, my. Let's go back to Interface and go to Enhanced Brush Ghost. I'll click OK on that, and this time I'll be able to see exactly what's going on with these particles and with these springs. And I don't mind waiting because that was just so exciting. So I'm going to clear the canvas by doing a Select All and a Delete and make another one of those in red. You can really see what's going on here. I'm actually moving my cursor very slowly this time, and it's amazing just to see what can happen here. I'm done, and it's still going. Let's try the spring concept creature. I'm switching to a green, and now I see some marvelous vector-type shapes that are helping to create this look. I've finished, and it's still going. I'll go to Spring Concept Scribble. Well, scribbling is what this is mostly about, so in purple, let's see what that'll do for us. That is a very fast-acting kind of little scribbly thing. Spring Feather Sketch. And I think I'll use a brighter color for that, and first undo the last few things. And now with this Spring Feather Sketch, I can see that there are some very subtle 
kinds of items happening as a result of my scribbling. One more, and that is called Spring Silk Ribbon, and this one gives you a very wide ribbon-like stroke, as you can see, and you can alter what you're doing there by tilting your stylus. Once again, it's going on long after I have stopped moving my cursor, but let it rip. This is your introduction to the particle brushes. They're very unusual, very exciting, and I know that you'll have fun playing with them.